had a shower in 16 days. And it's fair to say that nobody executes the sponge bath quite the way that I do. I've earned my black belt and a PhD in the ancient art of sponge bathery. Tomorrow's job? Pocket laundry. Uh, is my plumbing work? Is my bathroom being renovated? Have I been out in the forest on some sort of neo hippie getting back to nature, meditative escape to free the inner wild child in my urban mind? No. This is about me using my voice, and this is about those who have no choice. And the reason I do this is to make you think how much water was used when you were allowed in the kitchen sink. And between your ingrained habits and the taxes you pay, and the ability of your grandchildren to freely play in a lake devoid of blue green algae, between the energy used to pump sacred life into your home through subterranean water highways, between all these things, can you make a link? 25 liters a day is all I'm allowed. This manic month of scribbling and jotting. I am the calorie counter of the water world, and now I realize with the sharp clarity and the sudden compulsion of somebody who's rapidly losing her footing in a crumbling sandstone on the brink of an OCD chasm, why diets never work. <laughs> I want to itch on your minds with a water-based ink, and I want you all to be thinking about how much water you use and how much you abuse. I've been labeled a lamist, a hippie, and more. Hell, I've been called an attention-seeking whore. Never underestimate the iron firm grip that some people will maintain to their god glibbing claim to remain in every which way apathetic. I was measuring out bathing water. I can almost already feel the sleek ribbons of cascading warmth soon to be delivered by my trusty yogurt container. <laughs> <laughs> this sponge bath is earned, and I'll enjoy it more than ever before that I've reached out and turned on that shower now. So up the stairs, and I'm careful not to slop, I can't afford to waste a single drop. Into the bathroom, I'm ready to go with my luxury steaming H2. Oh! Oh my god! Tragedy has struck. In my haste, I've stumbled and spilled my bucket. <laughs> I watch my efforts drain away, blue gold on porcelain in the bottom of the tub. Down the sewer lane, pretty well unchanged from the freshwater traffic on the Entei Highway. And as it passes by, it may honk and wave on its way back to the river from whence it came. And now I must walk downstairs, measure out my water, and return to the stove. Novelty is worn off, and I'm over it. Still, I walk down 16 steps, and it sure as hell beats 10 miles. From a sun-baked village on a dusty road, a woman with a jug on her head she goes. And where this woman she goes, she walks with her hopes, and she walks with her dreams, and she prays that someone will come help her out. Oh, they'll come all right. They'll hear her cries. They'll come with dollar signs in their eyes. Nestle, Thames, Dow, Veolia, Siemens, Suez, and Coca-Cola. She'll well provide you with water. Everything will be fine. Just sign right here on the Line. And once we have you hostage, no chance of dissent, we're going to jack up the rates 400%. And now the substance that makes up 70% of my body has become a free market commodity. So tell me this when are you going to come claim me? Thank you. Thank you.